Quelo doesn't have that initiation tool, not anymore. He has to wait for that cooldown to be back on. Oh! oh. Charge! Yowie strikes! And that's... I don't know if it's going to be Edith Florian in the mid, or if it's going to be Terizla. Terizla makes more sense because you get more Edith Florian in the mid, or if it's going to be Terizla. Terizla makes more sense because you get more pressure out of it in the mid lane through clearing. And in this Terizla mid, we're seeing Swaylo back. Vincent's uh, slightly ahead here in levels, but not too much to actually make a difference where he'll get a level advantage, not just yet. Sway low, wow. penalty zone canceled as Yaoi jumps into the wild charge onto Vincent. Aran swings his sword, finds first blood. And now oh. Kabuki with a blazing duet to Sway low, looking for some damage and will be able to get it done. Audi TZ forced to flick around and even Cars now in a 1v3 gets a two man Earth Jatter. Go good, very low, but look at that. Uh, so stick to what you know is their plan. Then looking to capitalize on it to protect the fight. The Sway low in his zone. But that's why the Angela finds so much value early on. Cars, oh, Earth Shattered and onward. And also, Pelly wow. to the back, but Iran also follows through with the Bravest Fighter onto Vincent, who's still clawing at him. Kabuki here. It's a 5v5, but look at the damage coming through from Aura. They've out sustained Rebellion. And Cars kiting back, sway low in the midst of it all, getting Yaoi down. Subjective fight, but this seems like the adjustment from Rebellion. They want to use it early on here before anything happens. We're going to go for a siege, but it's wild charge onto the back. Kabuki as well, without the hard guard, just dives in through from Y. The Bloom already oh. used up for the Bounder! Oh. Image will be used up! Advantage for Aura! That's a pick off and a Purify out of the penalty zone that forces Sway low to be all alone. He's isolated completely. Flicker's out late! Around with the Flicker and the stun! Yehezkiel picks up the kill and Kabuki Whoa. is the one chasing down Onitizi! Difference. They're making sure that Kabuki has space to basic attack again and again throughout the whole engagement. And you give him enough time without any threat to free zone him away. Whoa, look at this pick off! A knock-up, a taunt into a wild charge as well, and Gugun just holding the back down all alone. Has the help of the hard guard as well to get out with onward and the penalty zone onto him. Sway low gets burst it down before anyone can do anything about it. But Iran will fall as well. Now Vincent looking for the exit cube, but Kabuki jumps into the battle room image. And now with Gugun gone, we want to take this one. Retri on cooldown. Dangerous spot for Rebellion. Kabuki's on it, but there you go. Vincent waits for the timer, and now Yaoi gets Vincent. Finished off the endless battle. Oh, penalty zone into the bush. They ran it out. Iran gets caught. And now will just be bursted down by Moai, who's on a killing spree. Isolated by the barrier. Cars still in the midst of it all. That's an appraiser's trap. But Swaylo is able to flicker out of it just in time. Cars, no immobility. Oh. He just runs at him. Once again, on the objectives. Well, this is more of a medium power spike for Rebellion. So they're trying to use it as much as possible. Seems like there's going to be a fight breaking out, though. Swaylo going uh -huh. aggressive. The zone. Dodged away from the Lord, reset it. And Gugu oh. wants to go for a fight, dashes forward, taunts cars. But Swaylo doesn't have that initiation tool, not anymore. He has to wait for that cooldown to be back on. Oh, oh. charge! Yowie strikes! And that's the follow up from the back as well. Kabuki doing some damage. Swaylo isolated. Only trading the roamer as cars is going to be all alone. Pops in primal wrath on Kabuki! Jumps into the blazing duet of the appraisers. Wrath gets rid of Hawaii in the back. Audi forced the flicker all the way. But now it's Vincent who's chasing him down. The light could pounce. Chasing Kabuki. He does two damage. Yes. Yeah, Oh, stunned up by Audi TZ and Vincent. They lose out on the two ability battle and now they secure the Lord. Even Kabuki right now, he's having a perfect game. 5 0 3 hasn't picked up my rebellion just yet, but it looks like he's completely lost. It's hard to engage at this point. True. And on top of that, the siege potential of a Brody. They have a very, very complete composition for now, Rebellion. 2.7k gold lead, building up to three! Oh! Five man, oh no, it's Whoa. just a four man penalty zone, but Sway Low, that could have been a bit too far ahead, man. He isolated himself. Now Sway Low, free to be picked up on a run. He jumps it all on as well. That's a trade one for one. But Vincent's looking for the last hit onto Gugun. The XP traded in for the mid lane, and Rebellion still have ways to deal with the. I have a question, Arashi. At this point, we've seen the man advantage. We've seen a lot of mistakes. I mean, oh! Meanwhile, though, another wild charge as Kabuki tries to deal with Sway Low, but the healing is too much, Vincent! Now diving deep. Hard guard force in. Vincent running back. I think he was a part of oh. run! With a three man. Stunned in the back with the Bravest Fighter, but now gets taunted again. And the sustain is just ridiculous for Rebellion. They go all here.
I think Aura has two solutions. Play the macro game, which they're trying to do right now with he has skill on the Angela, or play a defensive game. They have a DPS advantage when it comes to Claude versus Brody. So if they can just use all their spells defensively instead, they can maybe have something. But look at Yaoi. Very, very low. Wild charge, stunning Vincent and cars over to the back. Battle mirror image. Plays off by Kabuki Vincent. Oh my goodness! Bouncing now again on the Lycan form! That's your head skill in the back! Solo taken out by Moai and Audi Teezy! 4 for O, only Aran, the last dragon, left to defend against four bulls charging down! Aran, for the bravest fighter, instantly deleted! An unofficial maniac as the blue bulls charge through the base, 17 minutes! Right. That's a lockdown on the family. Master and the XP lane is more of a stamina. And the XP lane is more of a skill matchup this time. Who wins that matchup? It's skill? Skill matchup? I would say it's a skill matchup. Okay. But I prefer using Eufora though. Whoa. Look at the pressure. Goku going the long way around the cars. Gets a good petrify. Now the Lycan Falcon. One more hit should do it with the Retribution. Vincent secures first blood. And Aran is forced to use the huge. Swaylo can zone them. Aran doesn't have vengeance. Now the Black Dragon for him with the hard card as well. They're forced out. Arado locked out by the penalty zone and it's just slot. We're gonna just showing everyone how to really play a game when you know that your opponents are a good team. They can play textbook wise, but Yaoi goes for the play. Divine judgment there, but Moai just flickers out and now, oh! Good cancel from Audi Tz. He gets a healing gun, Moai! <laughs> Amazing plays, now the lockdown as well. Good, good, cannot run away. Sway low with the last swing of his hand. Carry in the second, and both have technically been countered. For sure. A territory that they're not familiar with. Meanwhile, Gugun. I don't know about this. Aran gonna be popping into vengeance, but Gugun is gonna lose his life in the back just by the Black Dragon form. The two oh fighters in the back, and Sway low just flickers out Vincent as well. Off. It's a full domination on the objective. Back. They're gonna go for the trade, but I don't even know if they're gonna be able to get it. Oh. Black Dragon is online, just diving to the back now, has the Petrify as well, he's chilling, he doesn't even use it! Cars with a Dragon Tail, bottom lane is a turret Gugun! Taken out again though, he gets out, just barely. Is he supposed to really target right here? Lord, let go! By Aura for a trade in the... And keep in mind, Vincent also has the War Axe, and the Fleeting Time is completed for Audit TZ, so for, if they want to go aggressive right here, they are very willing to use all their spells, Unless Yaoi can just do something crazy, right? So much range to play around with, they might just get bursted down. Black Dragon forms in the back to try to zone him. Yaoi already concealed, looking for Moai as well. Swaylo taking a lot of turrets. Turret shots there, but has the immortality. Yaoi, oh! oh! Penalty zone to stop him, distracts Moai. Just deals three damage to the back. Vincent, like it pounce. Even Kabuki with a hard guard can't really do much. Oh. He flickers forward, he gets a double kill, but then gets shredded down. Vincent again! It's a triple kill, looking for one last shot onto Oran who's able to dash towards his base. But now that's one base turret down. Look at the mid lane. It's another falling, crumbling. And now it's Audi flickering forward to Arad. Vincent doesn't care. He'll take that damage and he'll just go straight for the base to get a clean sweep up against number three in the standings. The Dragons have been charged down by the Blue Bulls.